Hey, y'all. What's up? This is Nina Perez. This is Straight Talk, No Sugar Added. Thank you so much for being here. You guys are freaking amazing. Don't forget to join my free community at winject.com slash register because we are growing that amazing, beautiful community where we communicate with one another and just like uh, re able to experience our time together, especially with all of the people that I bring on this show. And so today I have Kirsty Birch for you. And I love this woman. She is so real and I love real people. So she is a raw and honest, no BS mindset and business coach and a speaker. And I love that she says, be the different to make a difference. All right. So she helps accountants, bookkeepers, and entrepreneurs confidently start their own business without sacrificing any financial security. And I met her through some other masterminds that we were doing and loved her energy and who she is. So Kirsty, welcome. 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 How are you? Oh, I'm very well. Thank you, Nina. Thank you for that lovely introduction. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. I know I have a lot of energy, but that's just who I am. And I'm so stoked that you're here with me, Kirsty. So the way I like to start this show is um, I like my audience to get to know who you are. And I know I gave a little bit of you, but let's know a little bit more about you, Kirsty. Who are you? So I'm Kirsty Birch. I'm, um, I'm from the UK. Obviously, you can tell by my very London accent. I'm a mindset and business coach, a motivational speaker, and I've been an accountant for about 20 years. So this is a big transition for me into going into something different, something that I've just found a passion for now, something that I just want to help as many people as I can get out there and just create their own opportunities. So yeah, that's why I'm here now. And it's, I'm excited for the future. It's all, it's all good fun now. Yeah, you know what's really exciting too is, um, and I don't know if you went through this, but I did a little bit, uh, like when you first start to launch out into your business and what you're going to be doing, you almost feel like you don't know anything. Like you almost, right? I don't know if you went through that, but almost like, <laughs> almost like, what am I going to teach them? They, you know, people know this stuff, but the truth is, is that they don't, right? And you have 20 years on people now, right? So you have, are you teaching like accounting and all of that as well? Is that what you're doing or how are you helping your clients? No. So what I've intended to do now is that I've been in a business owner, many business, I've had a couple of businesses now in different um, areas as well, not just in financials, but for me, it's like, you know, I know what them feelings are like. Like you've just said, I know how people can feel that little bit of imposter syndrome. I understand mm -hmm. how people can feel those fears. and I. But I also understand that the positives from it, how they want to have, you know, their own business. They want to be their own boss. They want to earn their own money. And they want to do it confidently. And that's right. something that I really like to promote now is just to encourage people to, do you know what, stop waiting for opportunities to come to you. Go create your own. The world is, you know, the life is too short to sit around and wait for other people. Ain't that so that's, right? Yeah, and that's what I want to do. So predominantly I work with financials just because that is it's just my area of, you know, I know that side. But entrepreneurs, I'm an entrepreneur at heart, so I know that I've always been that, you know, business-minded. So I just want to help anybody who's got a vision, anyone who's got a goal, you know? Right. And, and that's, that's, that's me. They're my kind of people. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I know. They, you know, entrepreneurs are very unique humans, right? I mean, they they really they they they're really to um willing to sacrifice. They're willing to go out there. They're willing to try. They're willing to. But we do have imposter syndrome. You're right, and I mm. like that you're also dealing with the mindset um in your coaching as well, right? So was this something that you had to overcome, and that's why you you find it to be very important when it comes to your coaching? Yeah, truthfully, Nina, I'd be fair to you. I'm still doing this now. Like, yeah. this is something that, this is why I try to reflect on my own journey is that yeah. we are humans. Like, we are going to experience these things for a reason. And mm -hmm. like I said earlier, you have to feel uncomfortable to be comfortable, don't you? So this is something that I'm still going through. I still suffer that little bit from anxiety. I still can overthink things. But the difference is now I have the tools and the knowledge to know how to be aware of these things and how to just reel them in and to be able to deal with things my way now rather than mm -hmm. allowing them to overwhelm me because there's nothing worse than feeling overwhelmed when you've got all these emotions going on and yet no one to talk to and this is why we do our jobs isn't it so yeah and you know what I'm glad you said that too because what I want uh, you know because most of the people that listen to uh, my podcast are entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and or or um, professionals that do a little bit of both like that's their side hustle type of thing but mm -hmm. you're right Christine that's what's something I, I always try to talk about when I do these kind of interviews is that if you're going through something if you're struggling through something or you think you can't that is so normal it's so normal right yeah, to feel that way right yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. I think most times people feel like, like they can't, like they almost stop themselves from actually doing something or they think that, um, you know, they're not good enough or that they can't. And that's not the truth. The truth is, is I love what you said. Now I have the tools. Now yeah, I have 100%. the tools. And you know what, yeah. when you can teach somebody this and encourage them to actually start believing in who they are, what they can do, what their abilities are, there's nothing more rewarding and more powerful as a coach to be able to get that transformation from somebody who yeah. doubts everything they do. Yet, Deep down, know full well they've got the capabilities, but just do not know how to get out there and actually just show the world what they're capable of. So right. when you can encourage that growth and you can see it, for me, that, that that's that's more rewarding than any financial gain. You know, it's um, yeah. making a difference, isn't it? And, you know, the world teaches us to be kind. You know, we're here for a reason. So that's exactly what I want to instill into as many people as I meet, which is why I, why I like doing the talking, why I like doing the speaker events, because... You can hit and reach so many people mm -hmm. one talk, you know. Mm -hmm. I love one-to-one -one coaching. It's powerful. It's impactful, 100%. But when you can get out there and can deliver that same message and just, you know, make a difference to many people, yeah, that's what it's about. That's yeah, yeah, it. yeah. Yeah. So have you, um, have you, you know, struggled with, with like imposter syndrome or maybe just not imposter syndrome, but with confidence and stuff like that in your life? Like, yeah, was it something totally. like where you had to, you know, cause nobody just arrives, right? It's always a journey. So can you tell us a little bit about that? that like things that you've overcome and stuff that you've gone through that got I mean, you to I've had there? some tough battles in my life. And I think that now through being a youngster, I went through quite a lot of adversity. I went through experiences to be fair that probably a lot of young children shouldn't have to experience. I suffered with my, you know, I didn't have my, both my parents around all the time. My mum, yeah, but my dad was never around. And when I look back now, it was lots of drugs, lots of crime, lots of stuff that to be fair was tough as a kid. You know, we, I shouldn't have had to experience that. And had I not been quite strong minded, even when I was a youngster, um, to realize that I don't want to live this life. I want mm -hmm. to do, I want to be different. I want to get out there and just make something of my life. If I hadn't have been that mindful then, it could have impacted me in a lot more of a negative way. Yeah. The difference is I've allowed it to, to fuel me now. It's not about over, you know, I, I've never really looked back on it as a negative experience. There's a lot of people might find that hard to understand, but for me, every experience has a lesson. And that lesson was for me, I had to experience that. It's made me who I am. It's not, it's just shaped me. It's not defined me, it's just shaped me. And I take that on board. I I experienced it for a reason. What it's done is made me a bloody strong woman. I can tell you that now. Yeah. And that woman is, uh, yeah, I, if anything now, I found that self-love for yourself. You start appreciating yourself. And, and confidence was not something that I really suffered with because I was always a very confident kid. I always felt, and you might think I'm crazier now, I always feel and I felt that I was that I was here for a reason. There's something else out there and I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna find it. And even now, I'm getting to this stage now in life, as I said to you, I've you know, I've totally transitioned from my job, something I've known, because I found a passion and that passion is more that's giving me more confidence than anything else because it wow. means that I'm doing something for the right intentions. Yeah. And that, yeah, that that's that's more powerful than anything. So, yeah, adversity can definitely make you grow in life. Mm -hmm. It's not a bad thing. It's just how you, what you learn from that lesson and take a positive lesson from it. And, you know, everything will always be fine. Yeah. Oh, Kirstie, I love that you said that. And those of you who are listening, um, you have to remember that because everyone goes through a hard time. Everybody goes through it. I mean, that's life, right? So yeah. stop trying to say, oh, it's not fair. No, it's not. Life isn't fair. It never said it was going to be fair. But what you can do is look at a situation and see what perspective you want to take. Right, Kirstie? Like, I, I, same, as, same as you, I had a very tough childhood, all that kind of stuff. And for a little while became a little bit of that victim mentality, but I also did not fall into like my environment, which was also a lot of drug use and, you know, alcoholism and all that kind of stuff. And I didn't fall for that either. Same thing. I never really heard anybody express it the way you did. I had it in me too, where I knew that I didn't want that. Yeah. I knew I didn't want that. Right. Um, so it's pretty powerful. And that makes me think, you know, can we be taught to to go out there and and look at life in different perspectives or do you think it's already in us 
from when we were kids. Like when you looked at your life like that and said, no, I, this is not what I want. And I did the same. Mm. I'm wondering if that's something that's, that's made us an entrepreneur, like makes us want to go after the things we want, or if it's something that we can be taught uh, to want to do or to change our perspective. What do you think of that? I think if you've got something in you, if you're an entrepreneur, it doesn't go away. I don't yeah. care what anybody says. That's if so you've true. got something, that little spark in you, it might dim a little bit. Yeah. It doesn't go away. And for me, when I was younger, I just thought I didn't have these opportunities readily available to me. Mm -hmm. Nobody was going to come and give me, you know, here we go. There's a job. Go and run with it and you're going to be, you know, successful in abundance. It was never going to happen. Right. For me, it was, I had to go out there and create these own opportunities. And Love that. That's not a bad thing. From it makes you tougher. It makes you, like I said, more resilient. It makes you work your backside off because you know that you, the only person that you can rely on is yourself. Mm -hmm. And some people take that as, um, like you said, a bit of a victim mentality. It's not about that at all. It's just that I don't rely on anybody. I've never have and I never will. So it's a, and I try to, I'm trying to mellow a bit as I get older, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to not be as harsh. Not only successful, I might add. I'm not always successful. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's, you try not to always come across as this hard person. But right. I think you're right. I think it, once you, if you've got that and you've been through experiences in life, it definitely does shape you a bit. Yeah. But can you instill this into other people? 100%. Yeah. If someone's got a vision or a go and they're just a little bit off track, then work with somebody who's going to help you get that out. This is why I'm big on accountability because you yeah. cannot blame others for everything. I could sit there and blame my parents for everything. Be the easiest option to do that. Would that benefit me? No, of course it won't. I'm an adult. I take responsibility for my own actions right. or right. lack of in some cases. You know, that's my problem, not nobody else's. What they do with their life, and this is something I've learned, Nina, as I've got older, is you can't tell somebody what to do with their life. Right. Right. They have to learn this themselves. And if they don't, then... I difference is I just choose not to surround myself with that energy anymore. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. you use it to either you know rise from it, or you like you said, you stay still. I am not for staying still. <laughs> life's too short to stay still. <laughs> yeah, but it's fun though, isn't it? I mean, yeah, life throws a lot of crap on you and all that stuff because life is life and it's fine. And I always say there's beauty in that, guys. There's beauty in that. Like I always say, if life throws shit on you, use the shit as fertilizer. Right. That's for wherever, for wherever you're going. <laughs> right? I mean, you might as well, because I, I don't want to smell like shit, but I definitely will take it and I'll go fertilize the ground that I'm going to be cultivating for whatever I want to do. You know yeah. what I mean? So tell me a little bit about like now what you're doing with your um, with your coaching and everything. What do you take your your clients through? Like what kind of things do you deal with, with when you're talking to your clients? So when I've got clients that I'm talking regarding business, I've had a few lately and majority of times it comes down to fears. It comes down to um, having that self-belief that they can actually achieve things. Massive yeah. imposter syndrome. And majority of clients that I generally want to work because they're business startups are, yeah. like you said, side hustling still. Mm -hmm. You know, my motto is side hustle so you don't have to introduce yourself no more. Build something different. You can still side hustle go to work, come home, work on yourself. It depends yeah. how much you want things. And yeah. what I work with my clients is be accountable, okay? If you're not getting as much out of it, why are you not getting that much, much out of it? How much work are you putting in? Yeah. What are you doing to achieve? What do you actually want? Because I'm big on the law of attraction, Nina, and if you do not tell the law, you know, the universe what you want, how can you expect to be heard? Right. You have to know what you want in life. And that is with with everything isn't it personal or business platform so be accountable start looking at yourself taking that action mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm, you can't mm -hmm. sit there and say that i'm not achieving when you've not actually put yourself out there make yourself visible take the action if you mm -hmm. want something in life like i said go and create some noise don't wait for it to come to you go and find it and action is is a big thing because you don't have to take action as you know and do it perfectly you can take any kind of action as imperfect right. as it is, you know, anything, just something. Because once you overcome that hurdle, it gets easier. The next step gets easier. Take those small, small mm -hmm. steps. And small steps lead to bigger things, don't they? And that's where you become, you grow. And like I said, you grow as a person or you grow as a business. Either way, if you don't work on the mindset of yourself, no success. There is. I don't care what anyone says. You don't have a successful business if you've not got a successful owner in regards to the mindset as well. Yeah, I agree. I mm. agree. So what kind of um, client do you like, like to work with? What kind of client do you like to, you know, like pour into? Because 
this is why I set up that question because for me, when I go through like the on-call process and we're talking or whatever, you have to be ready for me. And what I mean by that is, is I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I am going to hold you accountable. Mm -hmm. And I also want to make sure you're ready. And if you're not ready, I don't want you to, to pay me to be your coach because I'm going to fail, fail you because you're not, you're not ready. Right. And I don't want to do that. So when you are setting up these calls and you're speaking to people, what is it that you're looking for? What kind of people do you like to work with? I want people that action takers. Yeah. No, no, no BS. Like you said, if you want something, then I'm here to get you results where I'm an accountant. I'm big on this return on investment. My yeah. clients want to get a return on investment working with me. They want to get results. So right. the only way you get results, if you want to put in the work and you want to take the action, if you're not willing to do that, then it's one, not the right time to speak to me. You're not ready. Or two, I'm not the right coach for you. And right. I will always say that to any clients I work with. I don't just work with anybody. I'm pretty picky, to be fair, mm -hmm. because it doesn't look good on me and it doesn't look good on them if right. you don't get results, you know. Right. And this is, you know, this is this is money at the end of the day. People work hard for this. They want to be invested into something that they're going to see that they're going to get, and you know, that return back. And right. if you, it's true. You know, you've got to pick the right coach. You've got to pick the right person to work with because it's detrimental, isn't it, to your actual success? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you're not an action taker, if you're not ready, if you've got that little bit of fear, but you've still got something in here, then come and work with me because I will right. get that out of you, you know. Right. But right. you've got to be ready. You've got to yeah. be ready. No, 100%. I, 100%. And I think as as coaches, we need to know that too because – um you know, when you're, when you're like having your business and you're, you, you're going in, you're going through your, your onboarding process and you're, you're getting all of your clients, you know, in the, when I first started this a while back, it was like this nerve wrecking thing about, I need to take everybody on. Mm -hmm. And then I realized I'm failing me and I'm failing them because they're not ready. Right. And so, because this is what we do, Kirsty, we are ready because we have to be, you're our yeah. client. You know, uh, but when you come on and you don't and you don't know what you want, that's not a problem because we can try to work that out. What is it? Let's let's align that. Let's get it going. You know, yeah. but if I'm working with someone and I realize it's one week, they haven't done anything two weeks. They haven't done anything three weeks. They haven't done anything. Now I feel like I'm failing and you're going to feel like I'm failing when in yeah. reality you're not so, doing the work. Right. Yeah. And so I agree with that. A hundred percent action takers are really great to work with. And also someone like you said, who has the potential to be an action taker, somebody who has it in them just doesn't quite know how to like put this all together. Right. Yeah. But that's, that's why we're here. I always say people, everybody needs a coach. Everybody needs a mentor. Everybody does. Everybody Right. Because I think that that's what will keep you accountable, keep your foot to the fire and make you kind of like move forward. And that could be with anything, Christy, because like I, I deal with CEOs and like executives. Right. And one of the things, even like with one woman wanted to leave her whole uh, six plus figure career because she wants to be home with her kid. But she felt like that was a failure. No, it's not. We just got to work out how you want to do that. You know what I'm saying? What is it that you want to do? Is that fulfilling? Is that really what you want? Or are you just tired? Like, you know what I mean? Like that kind of stuff. So it's been a great journey. I hope you're having a lot of fun coaching. Do you know what? It's been the best, if anything, as well. Becoming a coach has actually been a bit of therapy for myself. Mm. It's been that journey where I can actually, because you, like I said, you know, you have to work on yourself first before. You can't help anybody if you can't help yourself. So right. you, I've had to work on me to find who I am as a person and then do you know what I can get out there and make some some, some serious noise here I can make yeah. a big impact with awesome. other people and do you know what it's it's like I said it's so fulfilling and you've just hit it on on the on the nose there you know don't feel like you have to ever compare and feel like oh you know it's not the right decision for me to make to give up a certain job if it makes you happy we're all here in this world to be happy that's the main thing that everybody wants in life and if that makes you happy and fulfilled you don't have to answer to anybody you do what's right for yourself you that's just got right. to put the logistics out yourself right what you're going to be comfortable with and it's all about balance isn't it all yeah. about balance and that's it yeah, but I'm I'm pretty sure that you even struggled with that too, right? I mean, you had you were an accountant for 20 plus years. To walk away from that is almost like you have to do self-development work or you're going to feel like you're lost, 
Like, yeah. how are you leaving your identity of 20 years of being a, you know, an accountant, right, to go start your own business? You have 20 years, like you said in the beginning, you've cultivated relationships, like you've done the work, right? So to walk away, you have to have some self-reflection and some self-work, right? Did you find that? Did you find that very hard to transition like that? Yeah, I did. And I'll tell you what, I even found it even up until last week. It's I properly launched my online business only a couple of weeks ago. Felt buzzing. And then you can kind of crash a little bit because it was like, yeah. right, I've got this is this is all real now. You know, this yeah. is I literally stopped all my work only last week and I felt a bit oh, a bit anxious. Not even do you know what I mean? It's not fearful. I don't fear anything like that anymore because I just think money's something that if you want it, you can go and create that. It, there's opportunities out there, you know. Yeah. That's not what it is for me. It's more the fact of it's the unknown, isn't it? Right. But then that's exciting because as you know, excited and, and fear can borderline, you know, the yeah. things are very similar. Yeah. So it's an it's exciting journey for me now and something that I can do for me now. I've got three children. I had my youngest at 17. So it was a very challenging time at a certain age. And I went into accounting because of the fact that, you know, it was going to bring me a good income. It was always going to be something that I could rely on. It was, you know, a sensible job as you do at that age because I had to be responsible for somebody else. But now I'm at the age when my, my eldest is 21 this year. You know, it's right. I can start doing something for me. And when that reward is there, like I said to you, that's more rewarding than anything else because I can give back now and I can do it with the right intentions. And that's what life's about. It's awesome. so, yeah, I've, not, I've not missed that. That Yeah, it's not taking a negative thing for me yet because I can see I can see myself where I'm already at. I can see myself at, on the stage. I can see myself... I can just see myself already achieving these things. So when right. you've got that belief in you, law of attraction is telling me to go and grab it. So right. that's what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. But what I love about that whole saying, that whole story is that your children are already grown and now you're doing you, right? You did what you had to do in the beginning and now you're doing you. And what I love about that is because a lot of women do listen to my podcast, I just, I want them to know there is no, you can't, and you're too old or whatever, like you can really start right now if you wanted to. It doesn't matter. Like my kids are grown to have a 33 year old all the way down to 22 years old. And I'm doing me the last few years. And it's just like so rewarding. Kirsty is so rewarding because, totally, yeah, totally. right? Yeah. So my so so youngest is seven. So I've got a 21 year old, I've got a 14 year old, and a seven year old. I think I broke a mirror every seven years, to be fair. <laughs> Um, and I've got three girls and it's my responsibility to be able to show them what they can achieve in yeah. life. You know? And being a woman can be sometimes a little bit, I've worked in lots of male dominated environments and it can be a challenge to work in certain environments. You know, mm -hmm. I want to instill into them that confidence and that empowerment that they can achieve anything they want to achieve. My youngest is seven, Nina, and she will tell herself every day that she has to love herself before she loves anybody else. Wow, that's it's awesome. I've instilled into her because I want them to grow up to be, confident women so that they can know they can earn their own money they can you know choose their own partners they in in control of their own lives there's nobody else here to tell you what you can and can't right. do it's something that I probably experienced as a young age where people held me back a lot and now I just think nah not anymore not anymore <laughs> nah, ain't no holding you back <laughs> So I know that that that's like a what we talked about so far is like a big part of your mindset work and helping uh, these business owners and stuff to, you know, go over their imposter syndrome and everything that they're struggling with. So what's the business side of your business coaching? Is it is it um, the mindset work as well or do you do other things with them? No, I collaborate the two. But with the business side, I actually work on exactly what they want. So is it yeah. where are they finding their ideal clients? Are they talking to their ideal clients in the right way? Are they? using the right language how are they networking how are they marketing yeah the main one is as well especially at the moment in the uk it's a prices have increased you know since this pandemic it's been really unprecedented times isn't it and you know cost of living everything's gone up and i think yeah. a lot of businesses are frightened to increase prices to yeah. work in line with this because they're worried about losing clients like you can't think like that because you're going to be out of business for one the, your profits are just going to be going benefiting everybody else you're not yep. going to get anything you've got to be able to be confident in what you offer and value what you yeah. offer as, yeah. as a business you know if you've got repeat customers how are you reaching out to them at the moment right. how are you engaging with them are you email marketing are you email campaign you know you've got these clients that are there that already know what you offer know your services so 
with small businesses, especially in UK at the moment, it's all these little things that you have to get in place first. You have to be a confident business owner to be out. If you've got to attract what you want, haven't you? And if you do not give that right mentality out there, yeah. people are going to pick that up straight away that they can take advantage. And you can't yeah. be like the world's yeah. the world's a different place now. Mm -hmm. You have to be a bit of a tougher business owner because it will not take long. And this is why so many small businesses generally do fail because they haven't got that success mindset there. So yeah. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Are you um mainly focused uh, in the UK or are you taking clients from everywhere? I take them everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the best everywhere. thing about this now. Yeah. yeah because you yeah. know what? It's, it's the same. Everybody has the same kind of, men, you know, mindset to a degree. If there's things holding you back, it doesn't matter what business you work in. It, it will always show up. So yeah. every single business. And like you said, the world's a different place now. You can work online. You can take advantage of the situation where most people are working from home. It's normal now. Yeah, Probably right. more normal. And it's an overhead to have an office. It's an overhead to be working from mm -hmm. an office now. Mm -hmm. This is the opportunities that we can grab and take now. So, Yeah, and I think that, you know, me and you, we're, we're living on both different sides of the world. But we're you're, what, everything you're saying is literally what we're going through here as well, mm -hmm. which shows, you know, because the whole world shut down, right? But we're yeah. also dealing with the same things, the, the mindset, you know, trying to restart our businesses and make them grow, um, you're working from home more, being able to reach people from different, look at you, you're in UK, I'm in, I'm in Connecticut in the, in the US, you know what I'm saying? Like, but we're still able to connect and we're still able to talk. And then everyone who listens to this podcast, they're all over, right? Um, so, I mean, I'm excited because we were um, rated like the top 10% podcast to listen to. So I thought that was really freaking cool. Um, and the cool thing about that is now your voice now travels too, right? So like everybody I bring on here to speak to them, I it's intentional. I don't take everyone right? Mm -hmm. I speak to people who have uh, an intentionality to their to their lives and what they do, um, you know, that they have um, gone through something but want to impact somebody's life. And that's why I bring them on straight talk. So that's exactly why I have you here, Kirsty. And you. I thank, thank you for you. that. <laughs> that was it's been a really great um, conversation with you. And I really I know, I, I know because me and you have done masterminds together, like your, your mind is, is really a lot aligned with what I believe in. You know, mm -hmm. you're really strong, but you're also very caring and you're willing to, you know, um, show people that there are other ways to get to where they want to go. And I yeah. love that about you. I love that. I love your candidness. I love your straight talk. I love it all. Mm -hmm. So before I let you go, I want my uh, listeners who are listening, who really jive with what you're saying and want to work with you. I really want them to connect with you. So I need your um, website or your social media handles, all that phenomenal stuff that we can share with them, please. Oh, thank you very much, Nina. So my website is www kirsty birch b-i-r-c-h.com and find me on linkedin i'm under kirsty birch the accountants coach and my um, instagram kirsty birch one and my facebook just kirsty birch so if you look me up guys you'll find me everywhere if it's not kirsty birch it's the accountants coach but like i said i work with any business owner anybody that's ready to take that chance so um yeah getting that's awesome yeah oh one last question before i let you go now when you work with these business owners um is it just online businesses or do you also help people with brick and mortar type or does it matter to you or no no not at all i've okay. got an event actually lined up over in the uk which is my own event that i'm creating a free event because i want to give something back from my launch i wanted to just you know help people local to me and I've got an event. So they're going to be local business owners. So they're going to be coming to my event just for two hours where I literally teach them all this stuff. That's awesome. And I give them as much value as I can. But it may well be that I have to go and attend if they want to work with me to their actual offices. But ultimately, okay. it's online. You know, this is the way the world is now. And it makes yeah. it easier for everybody because it's flexibility, isn't it? But yeah, if it's local to me, then I work with anybody. That's awesome. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Chris. No, thank you. Thank you for being on Straight Talk. It's been a pleasure. It. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Fun, fun. And guys, you already know the deal. I'm going to make sure that all of her information is linked below in the show notes. Make sure that you um, like, subscribe, share, you know the deal. But I want to make sure that you connect with Kirstie if you really um, enjoyed her and enjoyed her energy. I know I do. So I'll make sure to link that so that you can go ahead and check out her website. I think you're going to love her website too. It's like bright and like, whoa, <laughs> like it gets, it gets to you as soon as you get on there. So guys, I love you so much. You guys are an amazing community. Make sure you go on winjack.com slash red 
register and get onto my community because um, as you know, we're growing this thing and we're making it happen. So until next time. Broadcast is brought to you by Winject Studios. We are an all-in-one educational platform for podcasters that revolutionizes how hosts leverage content to increase engagement with listeners, downloads, and income. We come together to focus on community, collaboration, and collective impact. For more information on how you can interact directly with our hosts, access exclusive live content with offers you can't get anywhere else from our official partners, join our purpose-driven community by visiting www.winject.com. If you're ready to build a career doing what you love, then we're ready to see you there.